Hello everyone. Our chicken slash bunny hutch is all finished. Um, it was in bad need of a, a redo. Um, I did like its little red barn look, but I had always planned on painting it to match the house. Our house is white and it will have black trim soon. I'll be working on that all fall. So you'll probably be seeing me less because I'll just be doing normal stuff I have to do around the trim of the doors and that are rotting and everything. But I was happy to get this project done and thought, um, well, maybe I'll share it to see um, what you guys think. I, I, th I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, everything on it is metal and most of it we had. I had that old key that's on the door up in the attic for so long. I just had nowhere to hang it. Um, then I did pick up these metal flowers at Hobby Lobby. I thought it would be nice to always have something that looks like it's blooming coming out from the bottom. And I just layered these things on the door because um, she is so loved, our little bunny and um, did some metal flowers. And that's the only thing I think won't last very long is the so love sign because that is wood, but it's that's not a big deal. You have to change out your wreaths and things like that every once in a while anyway. Oh, I didn't show on video as I was doing it, but I, I um, put this little hanger and we had gotten this at a little shop and we were gonna use it as a bird feeder, but now that we have um, fiction hanging around, I don't want a bird feeder so low because she'll just, they'll just be easy pickings for her to, to take out. So I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to either use it as a succulent planter or just different things. I have a little pumpkin in there for the season. I still have to work on the hardware a little bit. Um, I did take some acetone and take off some of the paint, uh, but I still have to do a more detailed job of it. And I'm still going to work on the roof a little bit. That's what started the project. As you saw, I ended up painting the roof, but the white lines on it were all with the rubber sealant um, to try to seal up the leaking. Uh, the roof is in really bad shape, but I don't intend on necessarily getting another rabbit after um, she's no longer with us. Uh, she's about six now, so I'm hoping that I can get this to last. <laughs> that long um, we'll see um, the roof is and I don't think that this is in good enough shape to hold uh, another roof on top of it so we would have to actually tear it apart and redo it but I'm hoping that the sealant will help I, I like that the copper key I was going to paint it initially I was going to paint it and then I was I was really glad that I found the the copper um, key because it brings in the copper tones from the potage. So it's nice to have some copper over here and there's little copper accents in the flowers. So that's, that's kind of neat to have uh, some of that brought over to this area. And then I have a little sign. I'm d debating on whether to do it the inside. It's actually in really good shape, uh, but just to match. And then I got this cute sign. Um, that one I've had, I think I got that about $4 at um, Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. Uh, that was about, yeah, that was $4, I believe it was, because I think its original price was eight. And then I had that little detail that didn't end up fitting where we were gonna put it. And I never took it back to the store. So um, I just hung it there with the wire and um, just put a little detail on th this side and yeah so for today the outside is done um except um i still have to neaten up the roof line that i'm going to wait and um, let dry i want to let some of this paint cure and then i'll go and i'll neaten up the roof line the whole back is painted and i do still have to finish the the, the back of the roof but other than that um i think it turned out pretty cute um, for what it is, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, um, it's great for a rabbit though. I mean, this chicken coop really, um, made a wonderful, uh, safe place for Willow. And it's nice that she has the two stories because she can jump, she can get up on her hind legs. She's got plenty of room to move. So that's really nice for a rabbit. And we've double 18 gauge wired it because we have some big raccoons. I mean, there's the size of dogs around here 
So um, I, I don't want any chance of any predators getting in there. And there's 18 gauge wire all along the bottom underneath all of that um, patio block that's inside of it. And that, that'll probably get a clean up. I'll probably put her in a carrier and, and bleach that pretty good before the season starts and um, get that all disinfected and cleaned. So yeah, well, thanks for joining me. And um, I hope to see you soon. I'm sorry, I'll probably be be on your feet a little bit less um, with projects. I've really decked out the house with um, Halloween, Halloween stuff. And um, so I've been working on that. Um, I'm doing some digital decorations this year. So we have some really cool um, ghosts and stuff and witches and it's pretty neat. So yeah, I hope you guys um, are having um, a great September and thanks for watching.